just because someone does not use the language of a personal relationship with Jesus doesn't mean that they don't have one or that they are not Christian. That construction, that perceived requirement is so new to Christian history. And it is precisely the individualistic logic of privileging internal intellectual assent as faith that can or did arguably lead to a common state of unbelief faster and easier than we would like to think. Maybe we should find new, or rather quite old, ways of talking about the life of faith.